This is the Third Heaven Traveler, Andrew Sheets with you. Today, I'm mocking the parrots claiming Ezekiel 38 war is on the horizon. A few weeks ago, I posted a blog titled, The Russian Invasion of Israel Won't Happen Until After the Rapture. Here's the blog in the URL of my YouTube video. Dear Heavenly Father, I just start and ask that you bless this work. May eyes be open, those who are, who are called for their eyes to be open and ears to hear. For those who are on, sitting on the fence, Lord, I pray that this get them to wake up, to start studying and reading their Bible instead of just blindly following the blind, leading them into the pit of these false teachers, Lord. I pray that anyone who's not saved and does not know you are better asking questions. What is all this going on? I see all these Christians running around getting all excited about current events. Father, may they wake up and say, whoa, I want to find what's going on. I want to find Jesus Christ. Lord, may they come to you. And know that Jesus Christ came. That Jesus died on the cross for our sins according to the scriptures that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures lord may they know that that's all they have to do is believe that and they're saved time is short come soon even so come soon lord jesus amen maranatha so a few weeks ago I posted a blog titled, The Russian Invasion of Israel Won't Happen Until After the Rapture. Read the blog, please. Look at the, you, uh, the, here's the video, watch the video. And as you'll see, there were comments, and I've got a lot that I had to delete. They were pretty nasty, but far too many believe in the hype of these false teachers like Amir Tisfati and these evangelical Zionists pumping out and selling their books and pushing their tithing up for Christians uh, to build their political machinery of dominionism. You can see all my studies on this. And like this Joel Rosenberg, who I'm going to mention. And they're like, no, 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 no. And even Terry Malone of Calvary Prophecy, who's really good on Bible eschatology, he's even mixing this up and and frankly i think he's confused because he's jumping both sides he says oh we're looking at ezekiel 38 yeah possibly possibly that now any day any day or it could be right after the rapture but it's on it's right now the stage is set and i agree oh my yes yes the stage is set we're seeing ezekiel 38 pieces being set up on place but this is only the foreshadow of something way down the road but if we read Ezekiel 38 carefully, Israel is at true peace. And this is only in the millennial kingdom when this happens. Let's read Ezekiel 38 verse 11. Let's read it. How clear can this be? And, it, and now that's, the, that's Gog, the leader, bringing down his alliance, his coalition of forces to take a spoil of Israel. Okay. And in verse 11 reads, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, and will go to them that are at rest, and dwell safely, all of them, dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates. I plead with you, listener or reader of this blog, do your research and really understand the words here in verse 11. This is all lining up with Zechariah, Micah, Jeremiah. The prophets clearly state what this millennial rest is. Take that and read it and study it with Revelation chapter 19, Revelation 20 and 22. Read the end of Revelation to really understand what's going on here. The true peace and rest of Israel does not come into the millennial kingdom. But these false teachers, and I've heard it for years, and, and I used to follow along, parrot the same thing. Oh, no, it's temporary. This is the peace and walls where it's safety. Say, what? But now think of the word peace and safety 
I'm going to talk about that later with this Joel Rosenberg. And this is what inspired me to do this study. In my blogs above, I detail carefully that the Ezekiel 38 war corresponds perfectly with Revelation 20. Okay? And the Ezekiel 39 war corresponds perfectly with Revelation 19, which is the Battle of Armageddon. In the Battle of Armageddon, trust me, Israel is not at peace here. <laughs> the Antichrist has broken his fake, uh, fake peace agreement and is set to utterly destroy Israel. So 30, Ezekiel 39, Revelation 19. Ezekiel 38, Revelation 20. It's beyond shocking to me to see people fail to recognize that Israel is not and has not been at peace, true peace, as detailed in Ezekiel 38, verse 11, and the millennial reign since they became a nation in 1948. Only a fool could argue this, please. This is humorously, it's hilariously, it declares the scripture, they proclaiming, these false teachers proclaiming themselves to be wise, they're actually fools saying that they're Israel's at peace. Just look at the headlines every day. Don't take my word for it. Now, this is the great irony. This is why God has such a sense of humor. This, uh, I'm going to call him a charlatan, false teacher, Zionist, shill, evangelical, messianic Jew, Joel Rosenberg. He's always full of his website. Look at this. Uh, bracing for a new wave of murderous Arab terrorism, Israel goes on high alert. Israel's continually on high alert, people. And just open and read his article. They're, he's freaking out. The same Joel Rosenberg is telling Christians and evangelical, I'm going to say, Chinos, Christian in name only, fools that follow after him, that to pray, he's telling us to pray for the peace and security, the peace and safety of Israel. I, I'm not making this up. And, and see where this Joel Rosenberg is pumping the Abrahamic peace accords? <laughs> I'm not making this up. And the current events in countries that are mentioned in Ezekiel 38 and 39, yes, everything is in motion. This certainly shows us we are looking at the stage being set. However, the body of Christ, we're, we're not going to see this war in this realm now. Okay, so don't fall for that hype. When they say that, say, well, go read your Bible, you foolish, foolish, foolish charlatan selling your wares, you snake oil salesman, move to the next town, go along. Because every time the likes of Amir Tisfati pumps this to get notoriety, to jump on this bandwagon, he fills in his other false teachings of many other ways. And also note, there are scholars like this Dr. Heiser, who's foolishly claiming, no, 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 Russia is definitely not in Ezekiel 38, 39. L look where I debunk his theory and his false narrative. Yes, let's clarify. Yes, Gog is a leader, a very evil leader who takes forces in this coalition, and part of which is now Russia, Turkey, Iran, etc., to wipe out Israel. And read where, I, so don't go foolishly think, oh, it's not even, Russia's not even involved. Well, is the Russia we see now with Putin is going to lead this charge? No, absolutely not. Are the forces in place now? Yes, they're forming. But this will be one of the ten kingdoms. So what, what am I saying here? What does this all have to do with us? Look up, saints. We are now at the very door. If these things are now setting up now, imagine how close we are to going home. Praise God. Father, thank you. I pray that eyes be open. Thank you, Lord. Even so, come soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Maranatha.